Bonjour Leo and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Claude here. Today I'm going to be doing your Midmont Tarot reading for the month of May. So I hope you're doing well. I'm going to start by pulling out a couple of energies from my Oracle deck and then I will clarify with the Tarot deck. So please, as always, do bear in mind those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates and discard the rest. And if you resonate better with your Moon, Venus or Rising sign, you may want to check those readings out too, or simply if you want a more comprehensive picture. Now what do we have for my lovely Leo Querens, please? What do they need to know? Okay, so your first energy is the Hound and Pear loyalty. Well, that's very Leo energy. You then have the skunk and magnolia protection. And we also have the badger and jinko healing wounds. All right. Let me put that away. Move it slightly higher up. There we go. Clarify this message for my Leo Querence, please. I think that's about right. Okay, so we begin your reading with the Five of Wands. Followed by the Ten of Wands. Fire energy, very much your energy here. And the Emperor, Major Arcana. Also fire. Then we have another Major Arcana, the Lovers. Center of your spread. Judgment, big energy here, another major arcana. And then the Four of Cups. Then we have the Eight of Cups. The Two of Cups. And the Knight of Cups. Wow, we finish on a lot of Cups energy. That's interesting. Okay, so bottom of the deck, which is the energy supporting you that you may not be aware of, you have, <laughs> what do you know, the Page of Cups. Okay, this is very interesting. So out of the 10 tarot cards, you have one, two, three, four, five. So half of your spread is to do with the emotional realm, because that's what the cups represent. And then you have major arcanas, one, two, three, and then a couple of ones energy. Okay. Let's talk about the energy supporting you first. Page. Okay, so pages represent messages coming your way, news. They also represent a new direction, or they may represent a certain level of inexperience, as I like to call it, because they're basically training to become the knight. You know, they are the entry card for the court. And the emotional realms obviously represents love, or your relationships, your feelings, your emotions, also intuition and creativity because this is water energy. Um, now generally speaking, because you are fire sign, uh, water being your opposite, let me be able to speak English properly, your opposite, <laughs> um, you may be struggling with this kind of energy. It doesn't have to be, it depends on what you have in your moon, Venus and rising signs. But um, if you have a lot of fire in your charts, yeah, this is an energy that you may be struggling with. Now, the page of um, cups may be indicating that you are about to take a new direction, you know, based on your feelings. It may represent that you're going to get a message um, that's going to bring you happiness, because, you know, that cup is where your happiness lies. It's all contained in the cup. But it may also represent the fact that right now you are trying to um, figure out 
your feelings about something, someone, a situation, a job, whatever the case may be, whatever the reason you, you are here. And it doesn't have to be um, a love relationship, by the way, it could be a friendship, it could be about a co-worker, take what resonates. But I'm getting this, for some of you, this strong vibe from this card that you're trying to figure out your feelings um, towards a certain person. And as I said, it could be a co-worker, a friend, a member of your family or a romantic partner. Because you have the card of loyalty here opening the, uh, the reading and, you know, protection, healing wounds. I'm seeing a lot of um, cups energy, so something's happening or has happened and you are uh, looking at it. Because in the middle of your spread, which is the most important card in the spread, you have a major arcana, the judgment card. Now, if you've ever watched any of my readings, you'll know that the major arcanas, I pay particular att attention to them because they represent big energy, life transforming energy. And to me as a reader, it's the intervention of your spirit team to nudge you in the right direction so you may fulfill your life purpose or to help you grow emotionally, mentally, um, spiritually, whatever it is you need at the moment. And so these uh, events, people that enter your life may seem like challenging, but I always say to people that things happen for you, not to you. Your spirit team is lining things up to enable you to grow so that you may have a better life. So we have judgment right in the middle here. Now we have two karma cards in um, the majors and those are justice and uh, judgment. And obviously there are several meanings to each card, but the judgment card talks about an awakening, a wake-up call, you know, looking back on something and being transformed. As you can tell, the picture is very self-explanatory. This is a transformation. This is um, enlightenment. So if you're here for, for spiritual reasons, definitely happening right now. If you're here for relationships, yeah, this is like a report card. You're looking at what's, what's happened and you're moving forward, you're moving on, you are enlightened. If you hear um, for, you know, um, something else like a business or something like that, same things, you've, you've learnt um, from what happened and you, you're moving on, you're growing from it. It's a very uh, big card. Um, it's the one just before the world, which is the end of it, where you've completed the cycle and you've learnt everything you needed to learn. So it is a very powerful energy that you've got here. So when I look at loyalty here at the top and you have the Five of Wands, the Ten of Wands and the Emperor, I can see uh, that if we're talking about a relationship, whatever relationship this is, there's been challenges. Because you have fire energy, wants, passion, desire, and you have the Five. Now Five is change and challenges. So the Five of Wands talks about conflicts, discordances, competition. So take what resonates with your situation, as I said. But there's been problems here. It's been challenging. And right next to it, you have the card of loyalty. And so I'm wondering if someone has been dishonest or lacked loyalty towards you. And you ended the cycle because you've got the ten. And ten is completion in any suit. And the ten of wands talks about finally dropping your wands. Successfully, might I add, because people tend to not like the Ten of Wands, but yes, it talks about having been burdened and being exhausted. All of that, obviously, is contained in this card. But it also talks about, you know, getting over the hardship and having success at the end of it, because this is the end of this problem. Whatever this challenge was here, this was ended, because either you or someone intervened. Now, the Emperor is also fire energy, Ruled by number four, strong foundation, solidity. The emperor is a leader, someone who is trusted, um, is an empire builder. So, you know, he has a lot of wisdom. He's been at war. He has won his, war, his wars. He knows how to get his team, his army. Uh, you know, he knows how to lead them successfully. So, it can either be you who bossed up and decided enough is enough. I don't want to deal with this anymore and, you know, you ended the cycle, or this is someone in your environment who did. 
And if it's at work, it could represent your boss. If it's your family, it could be someone who is slightly older or someone who not necessarily is older but has a lot of experience under their belt and no genders attached, obviously. Someone who represents the energy. And I can't help but notice that we begin your reading with fire energy and we end it with water energy. It's like the fire has been put off. That's a special message. Take what resonates. But yeah, either it's you bossing up or and making the decision to end the cycle or someone helped you um, you know, end this cycle, this conflict, whatever was going on there. And this has had a, a very profound effect on you because you have judgment here eight of cups okay i will talk about the eight of cups um, at length in a minute but eight of cups is moving on turning your back on something big transformation and the emperor is taking the lead so taking the lead wake up call moving on you see where i'm going with this i really 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 see it um but let's, let's continue um, the line. So then you have the card of protection. And you have the lovers, the judgment, and the four of cups. So the lovers, another major uh, arcana, talks about a big decisions in your life. It talks about crossroads, but we're not talking about a decision that's going to have an impact for about a month. We're talking about the long-lasting effect of this decision um, over your life journey. So there's a decision that needed to be made that has just been made whatever the case may be because you know these are energies they're obviously floating um but this five of wands triggered decisions you know with completion of the cycle that triggered a major decision that needed to be made uh, and maybe so that you may protect yourself because i see underneath you have healing wounds um and so in order to get you out of this situation which you were loyal to because this is either someone who wasn't loyal to you, but you were loyal to them. In order to protect yourself, you had to make a very big life decision, which came about from this kind of, you know, revelation, wake-up wake call. You know, you, you were shaken, is, is what I'm getting. And then you have the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups is right under the Four, which is the Emperor. So you've got two Fours, which are, as I said, strong foundation, stability. And the Four of Cups talks about emotional stability. But you know how human beings are, right? When things are um, kind of stagnant, or too safe, maybe, sometimes, well, we get a little bit blasé, a little bit bored, we may uh, experience apathy for life. It's like having lost um, your first for life. Because the fire has gone away, you know, the fire energy, which you are a fire sign, it's been dampened. And so you may be in um, some kind of, uh, pff, I don't really know what the point is, you know, that kind of energy, which is very, very often happening to people as well when they've had a wake up call. It kind of shakes you and then, you know, you've moved forward and then you're thinking, what next is, is what I'm hearing. But what next is healing your wounds, whether someone broke your heart, broke your heart. I can't speak today, I, I apologize for my terrible accent. Um, but yeah, healing wounds. So if someone broke your heart in a romantic relationship, if a friend betrayed you, if a co-worker threw you under the bus, or a family member, whatever the case may be, this is what comes next after this huge transformation. The Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups. Right, eight is advancement, so it's an emotional advancement from the four to the eight, as you can tell. In the eight of cups, it's not an easy energy, but it is coming to the realization that you deserve better, that you are not fully fulfilled, you're not happy, and so you're putting this behind and you moving forward in search of your nine of cups, which is the wish fulfillment card, you know. And it is right under the decision. You see, if whatever you look whatever direction you look at this spread, you see how the pieces fall together. Conflict, um, competition, discordances, frictions, whatever the case may be, arguments, leads to a big decision in your life and you deciding to turn your back on it. That's if you look at it that way. Same thing this way. Um, so yes. Um, then you have the Two of Cups, which is duality, polarity, decisions, sometimes relationships. 
and the cups is the emotional realm, that's what we're dealing with towards the end of your reading. So it could be having had to make a decision based on your feelings and emotions. It could be you, um, the, the uh, relationship between your higher self and your conscious self, you know, because of this judgment card that's just above it, you know, reconciling your higher self and your uh, conscious self. And then you have the knight of cups. That also, it could also be a relationship coming your way, by the way. It could be you walking away from whatever this is and a very significant relationship coming your way, which could be this message as well. So take what resonates. But then you've got this knight of cups. And I love the knight's energies because I find them exciting. They represent movement forwards, um, you know, taking action. So whether you are the knight or someone else is the knight, things are going to move forward. No genders attached. This is a general reading. Um, the Knight of Cups holds his cup, and in his cup are all of his love, uh, feelings, um, happiness, you know, whatever makes him happy. So it could be you taking action towards your dream life, or taking action towards your dream partnership, take what resonates. Or it could be someone coming with you with an offer of love, you know, a serious offer of love that's going to heal your wounds that you've got here. Whatever you look at it, it is a very empowering reading that acknowledges what happened, you know, what was wrong, what was wrong, done wrongly to you, um, the transformation you're experiencing, and how this is really going to be for the best, better for you later on in life, um, and how, you know, you are going to be healed. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the card with me. If the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me. I really appreciate it. I wish you a beautiful month and I'll see you again soon. Until next time, au revoir.